Hello, I'm Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz with your global weather watch update. And we are tracking some of the more severe weather and interesting weather going on around planet Earth for today. Friday, New Zealand time, Thursday for the Americas. Let's see what is happening at the moment. The animated wind map we're using today shows total precipitable water. Let's just put that an easy way. It's where all the moisture is in the atmosphere. So the areas with the bright blues, that's where most of the rain is falling at the moment. And those in the sort of more orangey brown shading, that's where the air is coldest and driest right now. So the bulk of the rain, where you expect it to be. Around the equator and it being you know, summer for the northern hemisphere, you'd expect most of that rain to be just north of the equator. And that's exactly what you're seeing right across the globe. Heaviest rain falling across parts of India, uh, really going right across Asia, and also through Indonesia, through the tropics, and also the southern states of America and some parts of Mexico because there's a tropical storm there and thunderstorms going on across the US at the moment. So we're going to cover all of that. Let's start off though with the heavy rain over the next 24 hours across planet Earth. We're just sort of going with the main areas of concern and some of the biggest downpours we're seeing over the next 24 hours are around parts of India, Nepal through the mountains, Bhutan, and also northern parts of Myanmar. The areas with the white shading around the purple there, that's getting up to 250, 300 millimeters in just 24 hours. So that is a lot that could cause some flooding in those areas. The other area that's seeing some heavy rain around Japan, uh, again, similar rainfall totals of up to 250, 300 millimeters falling in just 24 hours in some of the southern islands, and some heavy downpours also around Taipei and northern parts of China. And the other area that's seeing the rain, we just talked about that before, the thunderstorms, going across America at the moment, quite a lot of them. And so you can see them sort of through that central area and southern parts. And then down here, um, Tropical Storm Grace has moved across the Yucatan Peninsula. Again, rainfall totals in that area will exceed 250 millimeters for some of those areas. Now, we've also got heavy snow going around the planet at the moment. New Zealand's actually one of the contenders for that in the South Island. Uh, 25, 30 centimeters of snow potentially through the mountain tops over the next 24 hours in the Southern Alps. And the other area just across the Pacific Ocean around the border of Chile and Argentina through the Andes will be seeing some very heavy snow accumulating here over the next 24 hours with lighter falls right down towards the south. All right, let's move along now. We've got these tropical storms, three of them at the moment. Uh, we've got Linda out here heading towards Hawaii. We've got Grace just passing over the Yucatan Peninsula. And up here we've got Henri, which I called Henry the other day, which I've got to say is probably the most classic New Zealand thing you can do with a name. Uh, so up here, not Henry, Henri <laughs> coming in uh, out at sea. Bermuda is just here. Florida is just there. It's likely to head on straight up towards uh, parts of Canada. It's likely to become a hurricane for a time, but it will be out at sea. Fred was a tropical storm, no longer is partially responsible for all those thunderstorms you're seeing. And then Grace, that is the next one to keep an eye on because it could become a hurricane back out over open waters as it moves into Mexico. Uh, these are the spaghetti models showing various different computer modeling and where these storms are likely to track. Uh, fairly confident with all three of them. The reason why it goes a bit crazy up there is because they become extra tropical by then and you know they can go all over the place. But when it's a real storm, it's just really in this part. Heads up towards parts of maybe New England, um, northeastern side of the US and the eastern side of Canada. I think that uh, Grace is probably the most consistent of the modeling coming straight into Mexico. And then over here, we've got Linda. So yesterday we were talking about um, Tropical Storm Linda. By the way, it was a category four hurricane the other day out at sea. Most people don't pay attention to them when they're out at sea though, but it does come closer to Hawaii. But the good news is um, these green circles are saying tropical storm. So basically it's not a hurricane at that point. So we're expecting it to weaken as it moves in, but there will be a blast of wind and rain coming in for parts of Hawaii and the island group uh, over the coming days. And the other tropical area to keep an eye on is uh, this depression that's been lingering around the Western Pacific. It doesn't look like it's going to become a typhoon now, but it is in that borderline area where it might become a weak one. Tropical storm here, then a tropical depression, which means it weakens further as it moves up and towards uh, parts of Japan and potentially Korea. Looks as though Taiwan not quite as exposed. Okay, we've got a few thunderstorm areas today. This is basically just saying 
hey look there could be some thunderstorm and some disruption potential in these areas so the areas with the yellow boxes which you're seeing parts of Spain France uh, across a large portion of Italy and then also sort of down more towards Serbia and Greece thunderstorms all through those areas at the moment thunderstorm risks also across the midwest of america um, great part of the us if you haven't been there um, and so coming into parts of colorado nebraska and the northwestern corner of kansas hello to any viewers in ogallala north platte or Brady, Nebraska. I've got a real sweet spot for those areas. Uh, and then we've also got a few thunderstorms elsewhere across North America. The areas with the green circles actually highlight the more extreme thunderstorms that are at the, um, on the go at the moment. When we recorded this video, a few thunderstorms up in Canada, but the bulk of them are actually through the usual areas, uh, central parts where it is a lot warmer. Okay, we've also got in here a different map. Now, some people have said to me, if these are global updates, why are there so many American maps? Very simple answer. It's called open data or open data, depending on how you say that word. So America is number one for open weather data. My country, New Zealand, not up there at all. So you'll see certain parts of the world have great maps like this one, which is the hail map showing hail recently falling in the blue here. So this is an amazing map. I wish we had this in New Zealand um, to be able to track uh, these uh, thunderstorms and hail showers. So plenty of hail showers falling across America in all sort of areas across the states at the moment as those thunderstorms push on through. Um, thunderstorms, as we just final uh, finish off on these uh, current thunderstorm activity around the world, showing the usual areas around Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, the Philippines, and the area where that typhoon is, well, tropical storm is trying to get going, very active at the moment, but fairly quiet in the New Zealand and Australia areas. Temperatures now, well, it is a little cooler down here. You notice there weren't so many thunderstorms. Temperatures aren't quite so warm. The hot stuff up in the red, the cold stuff, bitterly cold, minus 30, minus 40 down here in the purple. So. Colder in the South Island, there's a bit of a southerly change coming through at the moment for you and also affecting parts of Australia. But very different story around central parts of America and North America as well. The areas you see in the white, brighter shading in the pink, that's getting pretty hot. That's well into the 30 degrees Celsius mark. But there is that cool change coming through, cool and hot. That's the reason why you're getting some thunderstorm risks around the Midwest. Uh, when we move over towards Europe, you can see not quite so hot over in the United Kingdom at the moment. Although granted this was taken as you go into nighttime for you on Thursday night local time, but still very hot, obviously through the Sahara Desert and parts of Northern Africa. Well, that's it. That is all for today. That's all for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all the comments on YouTube as well from our international audience. Fantastic to have you all along. New Zealand's in lockdown at the moment. Everyone's at a stay at home order. That's the reason why we're making some extra videos at the moment. So that is all from me. If you are in New Zealand, please do check out our website, weatherwatch.co.nz. Everywhere else, please use our business partners at IBM. That's just uh, weather.com, nice and easy. Have a great weekend. Have a great Friday for the rest of you. And we'll see you potentially next week.